Big news, Biden confirms $1,750 stimulus checks are on the way. Make sure you set up your deposit today especially for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients. Hello and welcome back to another video from MoneyPro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and latest news on multiple U.S. financial aid programs. President Biden has just confirmed a new round of stimulus checks, and this time, it's a whopping $1,750. But there's a catch you need to act fast to make sure you get your money as soon as possible. Alright, let's break this down piece by piece. First off, the basics. The amount, $1,750 per eligible individual. Who's eligible, most American adults, with some income limitations. Timeline, payments expected to start rolling out next month. Key point, you need to set up direct deposit, inject, ICEP, to get your money quickly. Now, I know what you're thinking another stimulus check? Is this for real? I get it, we've been through a lot of ups and downs with government aid over the past few years. But this time, it's the real deal. President Biden made the announcement just yesterday during a press conference at the White House. My fellow Americans, as we continue to rebuild our economy and support those most in need, I'm announcing today a new round of direct payments to the American people. These $1,750 checks will provide crucial assistance to millions of families, seniors, and individuals with disabilities. So why is this happening now? Well, there are a few factors at play. Ongoing economic recovery, while we've made progress, many Americans are still struggling to make ends meet. Rising inflation, the increased cost of living has put pressure on household budgets. Midterm elections, let's be real, there's always a political angle to these things. But regardless of the reasons, the bottom line is this, money is coming, and you want to make sure you get yours as quickly and easily as possible. Now, let's talk about who's eligible and how much you can expect to receive. Single filers with adjusted gross income up to $75,000 will receive the full $1,750. Married couples filing jointly with AGI up to $150,000 will receive $3,500. Head of household filers with AGI up to $112,500 will receive the full $1,750. Partial payments for those with incomes above these thresholds, phasing out completely at $99,000 for singles and $198,000 for married couples. But here's where things get really interesting there are some special provisions for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients. If you fall into one of these categories, pay close attention. Social Security Beneficiaries You'll automatically receive your payment, no action required. Your stimulus will not count as income for benefit calculations. Expect to see the money deposited the same way you get your regular benefits. SSI, Supplemental Security Income, Recipients Also automatic no need to file anything. The stimulus won't affect your SSI eligibility or amount. Payments should arrive quickly via direct deposit or direct express card. SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance, Beneficiaries your covered two payments will be automatic. No impact on your disability benefits. Look for the deposit in your usual account. Now, here's the crucial part setting up your direct deposit. The IRS is strongly encouraging everyone to use direct deposit for these payments. Why? It's faster, safer, and more reliable than paper checks. Plus, it helps reduce the strain on the postal system. If you've received previous stimulus payments via direct deposit, you're all set. But if you haven't, or if your banking information has changed, you need to act now. Here's how. Visit the IRS website and look for the Get My Payment tool. Enter your personal information and banking details. 
Double check everything for accuracy one long digit could delay your payment. For those who don't have a bank account, now might be the time to consider opening one. Many banks offer free or low-cost checking accounts that can be opened online in just a few minutes. Not only will this help you get your stimulus faster, but it can also save you money on check cashing fees in the long run. Now, let's address some common questions I've been seeing in the comments. Is this taxable income? No, just like previous stimulus payments, this is not considered taxable income. You won't owe taxes on it, and it won't reduce your tax refund. What if I had a baby in 2024? Great news you should be eligible for an additional $1,750 for your new dependent. Make sure your 2024 tax return reflects this change. I'm on Social Security and didn't get previous stimulus checks. Will I get this one? Yes, the administration has made a big push to ensure all Social Security beneficiaries receive their payments automatically this time. What about college students? Are we eligible? It depends. If you're claimed as a dependent on someone else's taxes, they may receive the payment for you. If you file your own taxes and meet the income requirements, you should be eligible. Now, I want to take a moment to address something important. Whenever there's news about government payments, scammers come out of the woodwork. Here are some red flags to watch out for. Anyone asking for your personal or banking information over the phone, email, or text. Promises to expedite your payment for a fee. Websites that aren't official. Gov domains claiming to process your payment. Remember, the IRS will never contact you asking for information. They already have what they need. If you're unsure about something, go directly to irs.gov for information. All right, let's recap the key points. $1,750 stimulus checks are coming. Most adults are eligible, with some income limitations. Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients will receive payments automatically. Set up direct deposit, inject, ICEP, for fastest payment. Be on the lookout for scams. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this new round of stimulus? How will you use the money? Let me know in the comments below. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you that while this money can be a huge help, it's important to think long-term about your financial health. If you're in a position to do so, consider using some of this money to build up an emergency fund. That's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on this developing story.